Okay, you're live. Great. Um, good evening, everyone. Welcome and thanks for joining us tonight for this open enrollment webinar focused on the new state marketplace, marketplace called Get Covered New Jersey. I'd like to thank the New Jersey Department of Banking and Insurance and especially Commissioner Faride for working with my office on today's webinar. Access to quality healthcare is something that I've been fighting for in Congress, and this pandemic has only emphasized its importance. I'm excited to be here today with all of you to learn more about the open enrollment process for New Jersey's new state marketplace launched by Governor Murphy this year. Get Covered New Jersey replaces the federal exchange at healthcare.gov for New Jersey residents. It offers some new features and subsidies that are important for all of us to understand. So I wanted to make sure you have the information you need to navigate the new open enrollment process. And I appreciate that the commissioner is here with us today to walk us through it um, and answer questions. After I give Commissioner Carrie Day a minute for some opening remarks, we will get started with some questions I have for her to get an overview of the new state-run healthcare marketplace. We'll also have some time to take questions from the audience through the Q&A function. So if you have a question, please use the Q&A feature at the bottom of your screen, and my team will be gathering those questions for us. And now I'd like to introduce Commissioner Marlene Caraday from the New Jersey Department of Banking and Insurance. Thank you. Thank you, Congresswoman, and thank you for inviting me uh, to join you here to get an opportunity to, to speak to your constituents and to folks, the residents of New Jersey, about Get Covered New Jersey. Um, as, as you have mentioned, you have been fighting for affordable health care for quite some time, and um, myself in my prior life as an assemblywoman uh, was fighting for the same cause, and now I'm able with team to, to bring it and, and make it a reality for our residents here in New Jersey. Um, under the governor, we slowly started transitioning from the federal marketplace to where we are today, where we are running our own exchange. And I look forward to providing you and, and, and the, the folks that are here with us this evening and your constituents uh, more information about Get Covered New Jersey and what it has to offer that is different than when, when New Jersey was on the federal marketplace. So thank you for having me. Oh, thank you so much. And for all your years of work really on this, uh, this issue. So first, um, the state's marketplace that covered New Jersey opened on November 1st. And that changes the way people get insurance under the Affordable Care Act here in New Jersey. Can you tell us a little bit about the transition from healthcare.gov to get covered New Jersey? Uh, sure, of course. So in the past few years under um, Governor Murphy's leadership and his administration, New Jersey has been working on improving access to health coverage and health care for our residents. We are now running our own marketplace and it's called Get Covered New Jersey. And we made the full transition away from healthcare.gov this November 1st of 2020. The, the beauty of it is our marketplace is tailored for New Jersey residents. We began this transition a year ago. Uh, last year, we were a state-based exchange, but we were still on the federal platform. Now, when we started that transition, we never anticipated having to face a uh, global pandemic like we are today. Uh, so it only brings home this global pandemic, the need for quality health care, how important it is, and so it just reemphasizes why it's so important to have a marketplace of your own where you could provide access to, to health insurance to our residents. Thanks so much. You're exactly right. I think that's what's so um, really sad about the pandemic is for so many years, um, you and, and I and others in this space have been saying that the disparities in health outcomes um, or in many ways, because so many people don't have access to preventive care, don't have access to good medical care. And we've seen that problem exacerbated so much during the pandemic. So hopefully uh, with Get Covered New Jersey, we can begin the process of getting more and more people covered. Uh, we're in the middle of the open enrollment period of the Affordable Care Act open for health insurance. Now that the state has its own marketplace, what makes this year different from past years? 
So um, there, are, there are numerous things that make our exchange different from past years. And one of the things that I want to bring up, um, Congresswoman, that you just mentioned how the pandemic has exasperated uh, the, the situation, you know, the states that had their own state-based exchange were able to open up a special enrollment when the pandemic started. We were not able to do so because we were still on the federal marketplace. That now has changed. We now have control of what we need to control to make sure that New Jerseyans have access to quality health care. Um, aside from that, our open enrollment period, we've extended it to January 31st. So while we were on the federal platform, open enrollment would have ended two days ago on December 15th. We now, because we control it, have a three month window to enroll folks. So it started on November 1st and it won't end until January 31st to give our residents plenty of time to purchase coverage. So this year is one of the, the highlights, the benefits of our own exchange. Another is when we were on the uh, federal platform, we only had one navigator helping our residents understand. And a navigator are organizations that help the residents go over the different plans that are available, explain the process. We only had one. We now have 16 navigators that can help address these issues throughout the state for all of our residents. And that's one of the benefits that we have by having our own marketplace. We have more funds available to fund and give grants to navigators to help. And again, our navigators speak different languages. So, you know, if you speak Spanish, you will find someone that can help you in your own language to understand what it what the process is about and compare and shop um, for plans that'll work for you. Another thing uh, that we have is that our website and the, and the application itself, because we understand that it's uh, difficult for folks that don't speak English to understand the process, especially our Spanish speaking community, it's mirrored in Spanish. So if you are tech savvy, you can go onto the website and you can find everything in Spanish. Um, if you speak another language and need help, our call center, which I am very proud of, it's a call center in New Jersey, staffed by New Jerseyans, helping New Jersey residents. And if they need help in a different language, we can help them through the call center as well. And of course, our um, main benefit, well, we have a lot of benefits, but the biggest benefit that we have this year is thanks to our legislators and of course the governor for signing into law, we now have state subsidies. So that if you are buying health care, a health plan on our platform, not only will you, if you qualify for the federal tax credits, that is yours, but on top of that, you now have a state subsidy that will help you to lower your monthly payment. And I have to say that eight out of 10 people will qualify for financial assistance through our state. So these are all benefits that we have this year that we did not have in the past when we were on the federal platform. Well, that's great. I know that extended enrollment period for people like myself, uh, working moms who have to-do lists a mile long, um, that is gonna be helpful and I have found navigating healthcare can be challenging and all the different plans. So to have those extra navigators is really helpful and to have it uh, in the different languages will really help out our residents. Um, and can you tell us a little bit more about the subsidies? The Affordable Care Act provides financial help to those who earn a certain income each year. What can New Jersey residents expect from Get Covered New Jersey? And I'm gonna apologize for my dog in the background. We have a oh. little... <laughs> A little bit of a loud mouth and on the couch behind me and not really supposed to be on the couch so you can see how that's going for us <laughs> <laughs> no no please well with regards to the financial assistance that we have here in new jersey just to give your constituents an idea um, a resident who earns up to a certain amount of money will qualify so if you're an individual and you're earning up to fifty one thousand dollars a year or if you're a family of four earning up to $104,000 a year, you will be able to get financial help to lower the cost of the coverage. 
as well as your federal financial help that you would get. Um, we're providing this on top of these federal tax credits. This was made, like I said before, this was made possible because the governor several months ago um, signed the law and it was signed just in time for us to be able to offer this benefit to our residents here. Again, like I mentioned before, eight in 10 residents that apply for uh, coverage on the website on, or through, I should say, Get Covered, will qualify for the additional financial help. Um, and during COVID, during this period of time, it's so important because, you know, we have individuals that never would have thought to have to go onto our website to look and shop for plans because they had coverage at work. And now that may not be the case. And so we're encouraging them, come look at our website. We have a compare shop tool so that you can look at the different plans that are available. You can compare them, what works better for you and your family, whether or not you do qualify for financial help, all that information you will have before you actually sit down and fill out the applications, should you do so. Um, so we're trying to make it as easy as we can, especially during these tough times. Uh, for the residents of New Jersey. And again, you know, for, as you mentioned, for moms, especially, you know, working moms. And I always thought that when you had open enrollment that ended in the middle of December and you have the holidays, you know, you're not really thinking about health insurance. You're, you're thinking about, oh my gosh, did I get the kids a gift, you know? So this now gives them an extra month to think about it and say, wait, I got to take time out and think about myself and my family for health insurance. So there's an extra window there for them to actually think about it. I know you're you're giving me a little bit of anxiety because I'm not through all my holiday shopping yet. <laughs> I, know, I know time is getting so short. Um, but yes, you are exactly right. Um, and that financial help can can really make a big difference because, as you mentioned, unfortunately, so many of our residents have suffered during coronavirus and um, and when they've lost jobs. One of the most difficult things for people is the healthcare aspect of that and what that means to their employer based healthcare and how they get reinsur you know how they get insurance for their family. Um, so what does the financial help mean for residents out of pocket premium costs. So um, what does that mean that means that the average premium if you qualify for federal and the state your average premium with the subsidies is about $120 a month. And this is down from last year when it was $164 a month. So it all makes a big difference, especially when you're you know, looking at what is right for your family, what plan works for you, which is why you know, I invite everyone to go onto our website. As I mentioned before, we have a shop and compare tool. So before you commit yourself you, got, you have the opportunity to look at all the plans available, what it's gonna cost you, what benefits you're gonna get as far as uh, pharmaceutical, if that's an issue with certain medications that you might have, your doctor, some folks don't wanna lose the doctors at their plans. So you get to shop all of this. And if you have any questions because you don't feel that the, um, if you still have questions after you read it on the website, um, call our call center and we will help you there. So, you know, like I said, we're looking at a reduction of about $40 a month from, you know, from 164 to about 120 a month. That's great. That's really helpful. Um, so today is December 17th yep. and open enrollment at healthcare.gov ended two days ago, as you mentioned. Um, and we talked a lot about New Jersey's open enrollment. Is there anything more you wanted to add about Get Covered New Jersey's open enrollment? So one of the things that I would uh, like to stress and share with your constituents is that um, if, if you want insurance in place by January 1st of 2021, you need to purchase by December 31st. Very important. Um, we have that extra window of the month of January. So if you purchase in January, just want to you know, let you know that the plans would come into effect February 1st. So if you're looking to have it in place by January 1st, 
come on aboard, go to the Get Covered website and you know shop and compare and purchase your plans before the 31st of December and you're all set for the new year. Anything purchased in January, you would start effective February 1. But we're open, we're, we're, we're here to serve, so please. That is a good flag though, for people to understand the timetables. Um, how can residents learn about their options and enroll? So as I mentioned, um, we have a website, which is getcovered.nj.gov. Uh, free to come on to our website. Everything is there. If they have questions uh, to locate a navigator, we have a tab in our web on our web page that'll send you to the navigator page. You could put the county that you're in and they will give you that information. Um, if you want to speak to a, an individual, uh, they could reach out to our call center um, and I'll, I'll throw it out and, and, I'm, and I'll give it to your staff so they could also make it available. Uh, the call center number is 1-833-677-1010. Um, and so there are so many different ways that they can reach out to us. I would definitely say visit our website. I think that the majority of the questions can be answered on our website. Uh, you put in your zip code and it'll give you navigators in the area. Um, and it'll also tell you what documents you need if, if and when you're ready to purchase. Well, that is very helpful. All that information has um, really been wonderful. And um, it just makes me so glad that we're getting our own state run um, source of healthcare. So um, now I'd love to take some questions from the audience. And just a reminder to everyone, if you have a question, please use the Q&A feature at the bottom of your screen. Chris Williams from my team is collecting them. Chris, what questions do you have for the commissioner? Thank you, Congresswoman. Uh, we're going to start with Stuart. Stuart would like to know uh, the insurance carriers that are backing the NJ Health Exchange. Will the NJ Health Exchange offer a lower monthly premium to a consumer than the, than the consumer going directly to the insurance company? Did you hear that? So, yeah, I, I did. I, and, and Chris, correct me if I'm wrong. I, I believe that the, he wanted to know if he purchased through the market if it would be lower cost than if they went directly to the insurance company? Correct. So I believe that's the question. So here's one of the great things about having our state-based exchange. Uh, we're working in partnership with our health carriers. And so not only are we showing the plans that can be purchased through the marketplace, but we are also showing plans that can be purchased directly from the insurance carrier. And so when you go and you shop and you compare, you can compare the prices of purchasing on the marketplace versus going directly to the insurance company and purchasing from the insurance company. Now, one of the things I will stress is that if you qualify for any state subsidy, you would only get it if you purchase through the marketplace not directly from the insurance company. So it's a matter of shopping and comparing the plans as to what best suits your needs and that of your family. Um, I, I, and like I said, if you buy directly from the marketplace, eight in 10 folks will qualify for the financial assistance from the state as well as your tax credits. Okay. Chris, Thank you, you our, next our next question, question comes from Nancy. Yep, Nancy would like to know, do the navigators serve people who already have health insurance but want to change or upgrade within that insurance company? Or do I only have the option of going through that insurance company, which unfortunately for her has been a disaster for her today? So now is the time um, to look at your plan uh, to see what works for you and to change it if you, if you wanna make changes. Navigators will certainly help you um, they can walk you through the different plans that are available and they can help you make any changes that you need to make. This is the time to do it. Chris, next question. Great, next uh, we're gonna hear from Mark. Uh, Mark is going to be new in the Medicare Medicaid program in early 2021. 
He is a senior who is 64, turning 65 on March 1st. Uh, does this seminar pertain to him? If so, would you recommend him? Uh, what, would you, what would you recommend for the best coverage on a shoestring budget? Think of him like as a parent or an uncle. So, so as a parent or an uncle, I would say go directly to New Jersey Family Care um, because he would, being that he qualifies for Medicaid or I should say Medicare, Medicaid, Medicaid, uh, you wanna deal with them directly on the different plans that they have. What we have been doing with our exchange, we're working hand in hand with the Department of Human Services, which runs New Jersey Family Care. So when we have individuals that apply for, um, for insurance on our web, on our platform, on our website, if their income is that that would qualify them for New Jersey family care, we will walk them over. We don't want anyone to get lost. It's, you know, soft handoff to the next agency to hold, to, you know, to help them and provide them with the necessary information. Um, I think that if you, if you qualify for Medicaid and if you're at that age, that's where you wanna go. We don't have the programs of, of Medicaid, but we will refer you over to the department that handles that and we would make sure that you're taken care of. Great, Chris, next question. Next we have Paula. Uh, her family income will drastically change in the first quarter of 2021. How can I state this on the application? Will they look at 2019, 2020 income taxes? So when you're filling out the application for the health insurance coverage for 2021, they ask for your income information. If, if she has any problems, if she believes that her income is going to drastically change, she should reach out to our call center and they will help her with the application to put in the information that she has. Great, and I think we have time for one final question. Uh, Mr. Huang would like to know, what is the difference between this and NJ Family Care in terms of the premiums and who qualifies? So um, with regards to um, our marketplace, there's a certain income level where, where if you haven't reached that income level, you more than likely qualify for New Jersey Family Care, which is a lower income level, and they will provide you with all the health services you need where if you're within the 400% of the federal poverty level, you would come onto our web, uh, our marketplace, you would have to pay a, a, week, a monthly premium for your health coverage where you would not have to do so. Uh, I believe you would not have to do so uh, with New Jersey Family Care. So it, it has to do with your income level. The difference between the two programs is your income. And that is what would say, okay, you, you can afford to have insurance here at the marketplace, or you should be over at New Jersey Family Care. And that's where we will direct you depending on your income. Thank you, sorry about that. I'm trying to keep my daughter out of here. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not being successful. I'm like, that, just give me one more second here. Yeah. No, you know what? I, you know what? I, I appreciate everything that you're doing. It's not easy having children, having your dog with you, <laughs> and being on the floor and doing the work for New Jerseyans. Uh, so thank you so much for having the time to, you know, to talk to me and also to spread the word about, you know, Get Covered New Jersey. Much appreciated. Well, thank you so much. And I have to say, I, I think it's important to bring a different voice to Congress. Um, sometimes I wish it wasn't me. I wish I was just living a life of leisure, <laughs> but, but I'm always proud to do it. So, um, so and thank you for everything you've been doing and fighting for, because um, as, you know, as we said, I, I know healthcare is one of the most important things in my district. And right now um, the pandemic has shown us why it's so critically important, but it's also uh, made it very difficult for a lot of people to keep their healthcare that they've had. So I'm, I'm I just really appreciate all the work that you've been doing. Um, I hope this information is helpful to everyone. You'll see on your screen a list of deadlines and resources, and we'll leave this up for a few more minutes. So if you need any assistance, please reach out to my district office. The number is 973-526-5668.
And I hope everyone has a safe and healthy holiday season. I hope everybody's staying safe in the snow. And thanks, Commissioner, uh, thanks to you and to your team for joining us tonight. This has been really, really helpful, and I, I appreciate all your time. Thank you so much, Congresswoman. Thank you for everything and a safe and a happy uh, holidays and definitely a safe and happy new year. Thanks so much. Have a good one. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. And if we did not get to your question, we apologize, but we have been tracking them all and we can follow up with you directly. And as the Congresswoman said, you can also follow up with our office. Uh, that number is listed on your screen. And I'll leave this up here for a few more minutes so you can take down that information directly. Thanks, Chris.